Half a million trench coats were made at Burberry's factory in Basingstoke during the First World War. Nearly 100 years on, very few have survived. Jill Arnott from Hampshire Museums couldn't find an original trench coat for their centenary exhibition. The great shame is that we don't have one in the collection. So South Today made an appeal and Susan Hudson from Southsea got in touch. Oh, I just what we've been looking for. <laughs> this is the, the Burberry trench coat. It is, with the check lining and the Burberry label. This belonged to my grandfather, who um, was killed by a sniper in October 1917. He was 37. Robert Arthur Hudson was a Lieutenant Colonel in the 8th Yorkshire Regiment. At the time, my grandmother was pregnant with my father, who was born a few months later and the coat was returned and then handed on down to my father. But he died over 27 years ago, and I only found it again when I was clearing out his house. So since then, I have kept it and cherished it. It has great sentimental value. <laughs> you can tell it's been a well-worn garment oh, over it the has, years. It has, definitely, and still in excellent condition. I mean, the fabric's absolutely beautiful still. I'm sure you could still wear it in the rain today. He was in the military from 1900. I have early photographs of him at training camps at the turn of the century. And this is one of him in the military uniform. It would have been lovely to have known him as a person and for him to have had some presence in my life when I was a child. But these at least do remind me that he existed, even though the circumstances of you know, his death were, were very tragic for the whole family. We took Robert Hudson's trench coat to Hampshire Museum's base in Winchester. This is an original Burberry World War I trench coat. My God! As worn by this man, Robert Arthur Hudson. I am astonished. What a wonderful thing! I'm just completely gobsmacked. It's astonishing. The trench coat will now join a collection of artefacts being taken out of storage for next year's World War I exhibition. I have actually managed to find this coat in the Burberry catalogue. There it is, the military slip-on. I think it's the cavalry pattern one. We'll see if we undo this one, that it's got the hooks that looped over the cavalry man's legs when he was astride the horse. And of course this coat matches something you already have in the collection. Absolutely. These actually came from the collection at Aldershot Military Museum and they are First World War officers' trench boots. Something that we have that this man would have worn when he was in, out in France in the trenches. We've got the Land Army uniforms, we've got the badges that people bought in the street to support the local hospital. But to have something that we know has been out there, it's been in the mud of Flanders. This poor chap died at Ypres, fighting for his country, and it says such a lot. This bowl was given to my father um, when he was born, a gift from six people who were with him at, at the time of his father's death and there's an inscription on it which is actually very poignant and I have great trouble reading it. To Arthur Hudson, in affectionate memory of your father, Bob Hudson, our dear comrade, a gallant soldier who died for England, October the 9th, 1917. I think it's actually really important that people do realise what happened and that you know these generations of men, their actions have formed our lives today.